now I'm for club EX student E. I'm 14 years old. I'm studying at Little Room School. Okay. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm in grade 9. Okay, great. Okay, now uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay, the first one is uh, to talk about yourself. Okay. Uh, telling me three things that you have been doing recently. Uh, I have been playing badminton uh, with my friend and my family uh, in the weekend. Uh -huh. I have been running with my family in the morning uh, last month. Okay. Just once last month? From last month. For, ah, since last month. Okay, yeah. cool. I've been. I've been studying an extra class uh, since yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's very recent. Okay, yeah. cool. Now we're talking about traffic and transportation, and I would like you to tell me. Um, Two problems that you face, usually face during the peak time. I think the most annoying problem is there are too much private car in the street. And another one? So too, too many private cars and? and there are so many people came out when they are in check, uh, check jam. Okay, so too many private cars and traffic jams. Please, uh, try to find a solutions for both of them. Mm about so, so many private car, I think people should uh, go by bus or you know BRT BRT, yeah uh, to reading the private car and I think the traffic is better mm -hmm. and about the traffic uh, jam traffic jam uh, I think people should, uh, should, should uh, use the other car. Okay, so try to find another problem, uh, yeah. otherwise you go one or the other. Uh, people should go by bicycle or motorbike and they should uh, go by car. Good car take a lot of space mm -hmm. in the trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what about pollution, for example? How would you address the problem of solution? How do you find a solution to that? So there are too many cars, private cars, private uh, transportation, people, don't, there are traffic jams, yeah. so there is pollution. How do you try to find a solution for that? I think I will find a volunteer team to help somebody uh, go by motorbike. Mm -hmm. and Basco. Okay. Uh, go. So we're talking about stereotypes. I will show you um, a list of stereotypes about males and then about females. Okay. I want you to pick one of them and tell me why you think they are not true. Okay. This is a male list. No, I will choose female stereotype. Okay. First one and then the other. One female male and one female. I think men are more interested in sport than women. It's true. Is it true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Why do you think so? Because uh, all the girls in my class they never run or they play some game. They just stay in the lab and talking. Mm -hmm. And about the boys in the club, they always play basketball, badminton, and something like that. Okay. Do you think that this is just for football or for every sport? I think every sport. Still every sport. Okay, good. About women? Uh, I think women worry about more about the experience. Experience. Appearance. Appearance. That means it's true. True. Why do you think so? For example, my mom, she spent, I think, half an hour to make up. Out to pick up some rest. Some rest. That 
they lie. Mm. What about you or your father? Oh, my father will just say, tell me to pick. Okay, what about you? Uh, when I see a clock, uh, I will work it a lot. Mm. Okay. Cool. So we're talking about the situations in life, okay, common situations which are success and failure. I would like you to tell me uh, an experience of yours, okay, where you were challenged, okay, and tell me how it ended up. So did it end in a success or in a failure? Uh, success? Yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, when I was in great sick, I'm very bad at math, I think math is the most terrible subject in the world. Mm. Uh, but uh, I try to be better at that. I, I have to remember all the all the uh, all the number and all the recipe to, uh, and profit so many times to be better at that. Now I think I'm the formula. Yeah. Now I think I'm the fun of the most student good amount in my class. Or the best. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So if somebody had the same problem that you had, so say I am bad at math, what would tip uh, would be? What would your tip be for someone like that wants to be a better at math? My tip is uh, uh, to be better at math, you should practice so uh, as many times as you can that you have you better at math. Okay, okay, cool. So uh, now we are talking about advice, okay? Uh, you choose one of these two scenarios, please. Taking someone's out on a date or staying at someone's house. And we choose talk, uh, talking someone out on a date. Okay, say I have to take somebody out on a date and I'm asking you some, some advice, okay? Some pieces of advice because I don't know how is the proper way to be it. Please help me. In the day, you uh, before the date, before on the date and after the date. Go. Before the date, you have to uh, cut your hair to mm -hmm. be very handsome mm -hmm. and and you should wear a vest and that uh, make you very elegant. 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 Before a date, you should bring a, a flower mm -hmm. rose, um, for example, mm -hmm. to make uh, to make her smile and make her happy. Okay. In a date, I think you should set up a plate just very peaceful and, and to uh, that can help you talk to each other mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And after the date? After the date, I think you should give her a kiss. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you very much for all your advice. Thank you very much. Okay.